the stress is over. We finally figured it all out. We're gonna go back to the original plan of getting married for us right now. We're still gonna go on our mini honeymoon uh, in February. Instead of going downtown to get married, Molly ordained herself in the same church that I'm ordained in, the Church of Latter-day Dude, where she is a Dudist priest. I ordered her the uh, ordination certificate as, long, as well as the letter of good intent or something that you're supposed to send in with the marriage license so that it's all official. And that was only like $27 for that little kit. She'll get a patch she can wear everything um so that's supposed to come within three weeks which is good because we plan to get married one month from now and then we will do a party where we can invite everybody when the weather is nice and becky will still do a ceremony where we can do our vows and stuff we're and then so this molly thing is just going to be nice and simple and all the stress is gone um I picked out a ring that I like. It's made from recycled skateboard plies, so it's very perfect for me. And I'm feeling much, much, much more relaxed. My blood pressure has calmed down, and yeah, back to being happy about getting married. I'm back to getting my teeth fixed. Mm. Well, Monday has been completed off to my mom's house so that I can tr use her ring sizer to find out what truly is my finger size because the ring I want is made of wood and you cannot adjust that so I need to be right the first time and since I've already lost one for it being too big I want to do it right this time we go into the China buffet. What you know? <laughs> China buffet. I figured out my ring size is a six and a half, and everything is falling in place. Now we're gonna go smash food. <coughs> it was delicious. You just got me on there making that gross cough. Babe, I was gonna edit that part out. Are you gonna say anything? The TV's not hooked up. The couch is in the entrance way. So it's... There's nowhere to, like, chill. Like, I don't want to hang out at my desk. I'm like, I just don't want to sit at a desk. And Liz already went to bed. But I'm not ready for bed. Because, yeah. I'm not ready for bed. So I've got some candlelight out here on the couch listening to my audiobook but I'm just like can I say that I've been reading a lot of books because I haven't I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks but is there any triumph in that is there any you know it's like when you tell somebody oh I've been reading a lot I've read like four books this week it's like really cool, like, oh, good for you. If I'm like, I listened to like three audiobooks in the last week, that like almost sounds like I have a problem because they're like nine hours long. And it almost feels shameful rather than celebratory. Like, um, what are your thoughts? I almost blew the candle out. It's Tuesday. What? Molly came over last night to discuss a little bit about, um, you know, doing the wedding. We're thinking her dad has a really big, uh, like, property, and it's pretty, and there's like a, like a lake and everything. And I know it'll be cold outside, but we're thinking of doing it on his dock in the back for the scenery. And apparently you don't need an actual witness. There's nowhere for a witness to sign in Ohio or something uh, on the marriage license. So we don't have to worry about, like, it feels like everything is good. And Liz got the ring. She ordered the ring. I don't know that it'll be here. I'm planning that it won't be here. 
on time for the actual getting married because it's being made in Poland. But I'm excited. I had to go back up front and grab my camera after I saw Brett's stack of literature. Okay. It, it just makes me happy because he's just so gay. This is what Brett brings to work to read. Summer share, look at those hot bods and the nips. He's, he's the hairy one. Sex turns to sex. <laughs> okay, Rainbow Road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing too exciting there. Rainbow High. I assume this one is about drugs. Oh, no. It might be about high school. But yes, this is why we love Brett. Because he's gay. He's gay. A little bit gay. Your daddy is a little bit gay. Also, Brett got a new magnet that I'm going to have to steal and put onto my locker. Unless there's a Sophia one I can buy, I'll have to find out where he got it. Although on the inside of my locker, I do have a Sophia one that I made. It's not quite appropriate. But it's a line from the show. So now we're going to have to have a Golden Girls theme. Tuesday, lunchtime. Read all about it. So, I think I might have found the cabin that we're going to stay in. Hopefully, if we can get it booked in time. Because these seem to book up kind of fast. But it's really secluded. It's got a hot tub, a fireplace. It looks really nice inside. And it's nicer than anywhere we would normally stay. So, I think that one... If we can get it, then that's the one. I've looked through like hundreds of them. There's so many to choose from. Maybe a winter time honeymoon isn't that bad. It doesn't sound bad to be in a cabin in the snow with fireplace and whatnot. Tuesday night is party night since I'm off on Wednesdays, so party night means slushy night. Oh my. Well, I dropped my phone in the toilet and it's not the first, the second, or the third time that I've lost a phone in the toilet. Liz uh, has an old iPhone 5 and it's in bad shape. The screen is cracked. I have a, uh, a clip, a binder clip holding it together or else it doesn't recognize what you're typing or like, you know, it doesn't recognize your finger. And the microphone doesn't really work. But I have this little microphone that I got at Five Below. Oh, and the camera's really bad. It's really bad. But I have a phone. I was able to put my SIM card into it. And I was able to get most of what I recorded for this week's vlog from my Google Photos backup, which is... I was really upset about that. And I did not lose my folder of almost 600 memes. I went and re-downloaded all of those from Google Photos as well. So it was, you know, I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Drove to Five Below on my day off so I can get an iPhone cord because Liz does not have extras. iPhone Five needs a name. It's broken as fuck. Just, I'm gonna call this phone hot mess. All right. Now the five below ones don't always last a long time, but it as long as it lasts long enough for me to get my Note 8, holla. At least I was available for an upgrade. And at least I had most of my photos backed up on Google Drive, which I spent all night downloading so I have 
you know, all my memes back. I have most of my footage from earlier this week. Not all of it, but it could have been worse. It has been 48 hours of phone and rice. So I figure if it doesn't work after 48 hours, then it's probably a lost cause. So I thought I would film the reveal. A little dusty. A little dusty. All right. Here we go. Oh. Oh shit. It's turning on. Wait. It's still doing something. Wait. Something has happened. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, you guys. I got, I got. Does it work? It works? I had to put my SIM card back in it, but let's check. Gallery. Oh my god, this giant phone. It feels so nice. All my pictures. My 567 memes. The rice worked! The internet said that rice was a myth, but the rice is not a myth. I dropped this phone legit in the toilet, fully submerged with an audiobook going and everything. charge but my phone is working it's working slower than it used to there's a bit of a lag but no more crappy iPhone held together with a binder clip yay oh now you tell me that you fall around in love well I never ever thought that would be the older I get, the more I vape, the deeper my Taylor Dane voice gets. And the harder I sing like Taylor Dane. I'll never have that big of a mouth though. I give you everything. It's the first nice day in a while, so I'm taking a vape break alone from my Samsung. And not an iPhone. Someone's coming. Some days my medicine makes me feel kind of emo. And today's one of those days. So I'm going for a lunchtime slushie. Since I won't be having one tonight. Since I have to close tonight. And then be there at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow. For a ten and a half hour day. On a Saturday. Which I'm trying really hard not to be annoyed about. Gonna get a slushie! Gonna get a slushie! Alright, I'm out of work. Gonna enjoy my few hours to myself before I gotta go to bed so I can get up early. And I found out that this is legal. So you better watch out, cause I'm gonna get real Spanish real quick on you. I was just like concerned that this knife that I have in my car was illegal because of the teeth. My boss's husband is a cop, so we asked him and we measured it and he said it's perfectly legal. So I'm gonna live up to my full butch potential. Don't you fuck with me, my cats, my dogs, and my bitches. Meaning my dogs and my lady. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know that I'd actually ever be able to use it, but I feel better knowing that I have it. All right, onward to home. Press play on audiobook. All right. What? You got so much to say. Oh, my animals are so happy to see me. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What do you have to say for yourself? Sleepy George. Oh, so sleepy. Oh, hi, Bowser. Oh my gosh. Give me my can. Well, I gotta tell you, it's cold in my car, but not cold enough to warrant wasting gas and possibly overheating my car. So, I'm on lunch. Today has been insane. Okay. My adrenal glands are already shutting down. I'm very, like, I'm just kind of like, I can't, you can't, how, I don't know how waitresses do it. You know, I watched my mom as a waitress and I, you know, I saw her at work and she was just nonstop all day, just, just going nuts. I don't know how she did it because like, it is only, 218 now and I still have four hours ahead of me and I'm just like <sighs> I don't have that level of intensity in me anymore for today like that level of intensity the Jane Fonda has been turned down and I'm gonna be back in my rotisserie <sighs> we got Chinese for lunch but I ate so fast that I barely ate any of it so I'm sure I'll be hungry again in like an hour I already had Chinese food this week. We're gonna have a late Christmas celebration with Todd tomorrow, so maybe I'll film some of that. <laughs> <laughs> End of Saturday. Saturday! Finally! <laughs> with the gonna... meeting, the Perkin meeting in the morning. <laughs> he sounded like Annie for a second. <laughs> Time to go to Target. I'm so tired. So tired.